Now in question 10 we're given this graph here of two lines L1 and L2 that intersect at a point Q with coordinates 1, 3 and the line L1 intersects the x-axis at the point R with coordinates 7, 0. In part A we're told that the distance QR is A root 5 and we've got to find out what A is. How do we do that? Well, we look at this triangle from Q to R and then just project straight down here and across here. Okay, so we've got this triangle and we can use Pythagoras' theorem. We should know that QR squared is equal to this length squared plus this length squared. So that's the starting point for this, that QR squared equals this length squared, which is the difference in the x-coordinates squared, so this length would be 7 take away 1, which is 6, 6 units long there, so that would be 6 squared, plus this length squared, and this length is the difference in the y-coordinates, 3 take away 0, so that's 3 units high there. Okay, so that would be plus 3 squared. So that's Pythagoras' theorem. Hypotenuse squared equals the sum of the squares of the other two shorter sides. Working this out, we have 6 squared, which is 36, and 3 squared, which is 9. Add those two together and you get 45. So if I want to find QR, it's got to be the square root of 45. And we can break 45 down by using rules of thirds. 45 has a factor of 9 which is a square number so I can think of this as the square root of 9 times 5 and this is exactly the same by the third rule for multiplication as the root of 9 times the square root of 5. We know the square root of 9 it is 3. Square root of 5 we don't know the exact value for, so we just leave that as 3 times root 5, or 3 root 5 for short. And this, you'll see, is in the same format as a root 5. So a must clearly be the 3, so a equals 3. So we had to find the value of a, and that's it done for part a. So it's worthwhile updating the graph, okay, we can say that this length QR is 3 root 5. Alright, so I'll put that on there.